Hello, 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 and welcome to this video in which I believe I will entitle What is a Beta? And the reason why I want to talk about this is because I've been seeing people complain about complainers playing betas left and right. Like I said, first off, in one of my uh, Call of Duty videos, uh, they were making a video about the No and people complaining about the Destiny 2 PC beta. And how, you know, it's like, calm down, this is a reason for a beta, so they can find issues and fix it, you know? I was just watching Chaos, good uh, YouTuber. He also said, you know, people were playing the uh, second week of the Call of Duty World War II beta and saying, you know, it, it's horrible, this is what's wrong with it, this is what's wrong with it. It's like, calm down, this is what it's a beta for, so they can find issues and fix it before they release the game. Now, first off, I have an audience for that shit, seriously. Because they're, they're complaining about complainers, which aren't... I'm not sure if I consider complainers, but they're making their statement of the e issues which they find with the game. And if you don't do that, then how is those issues? How is those issues? How are the issues going to be fixed before the release of the game? Now, granted, they might not be going about it in the right way, which they would be complaining about, and not say fill out a form or go in here. Of course, they might not have the information to be given to you know go about the correct way of uh, showing the developers some issues with the game, but. Most times they're not, um, and like I said in my Call of Duty video uh, stuff uh, previously, betas haven't actually been betas. They have been demos called betas. Sorry, I just got a message. My phone will come on. There it is. Uh, but uh, the reason people are now complaining about it is because before they, they saw betas weren't betas, they were demos, period. And that's not what a beta is supposed to be. A beta is what these are betas. You know, they're supposed to be, you know, a good time before the game's release. That way they can find bugs, issues, servers, stress testing, all this good stuff. So that the way when the, <coughs> sorry, when the release of the game comes, it's all up to speed and good. But like I said, previously before in previous years, betas haven't been betas. They have been demos. Now, like I said, and also an issue, like in things are going supposed to be better in Rainbow Six Siege when they release DLC is they're gonna first you know make it available for free on the technical test servers so that way they can see if there's any issues but in their first implement of this they're doing it a week before the release of the DLC which is coming up at the same day of the release of the Destiny 2 game which is odd now the issue the second issue of that is uh, they stated Previously, that the DLC is going to be released on the 29th, but they didn't specify that it is going to be first the technical test servers. I think they could have gone about it that informing people better because this is the first time they're doing this. But again, it's going a week before the release of the DLC for consoles and PC, which is not enough time to really implement any changes to ensure a better performance. And that's what they're trying to do with right now the private Call of Duty beta, which I still am hearing this from what sounds like is there's not going to be another beta. Even if there's going to be one for PC pre orders it's just it's stupid, but past that. Uh, they're actually doing what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be beta. Previously, they had it like a month, maybe a month and a half before the release of the game, which might have been a good time frame, but not too good for how many bugs or issues there could have been to tweak and better get the performance of the game. But now, you know, it's two and a half months pretty much before the release of the game, which is smart. That way they can implement changes that could be, you know, major changes that could inflict more issues that they need to take care of and stuff. You know, it's, it's hard to really say because I've never been in the game developing world, so I don't know. Truthfully, they could do it easily, quickly, or it could take some time. I don't know. I'm just saying that out there. This is just straight up my opinion. But hearing people complain about complainers pretty much is counterintuitive and idiotic, I find. Because, like I said, if people don't force their opinions about what things they see as issues, which could be issues, could be just complaining. I'm not saying it's either or. I'm just saying it could be one or the other. I don't know, personally. But if people don't state their opinion on what could be an issue, which also could actually be an issue then the issue won't be fixed before the release of the game, which it should be. And I just, I wanted to get this video out here because, you know, betas are fucking actually being betas. Sorry, I had to cuss there. Betas are actually finally being betas again. They're not being demos 
cold betas, which is the dumbest stuff, really. But maybe, like I said, they could have voiced their opinion probably better correctly, you know, probably not as insulting as they might be, or go to the uh, correct site or whatever to state what the issue is, what they're finding, you know. But if people don't voice their opinions of what could be the issue, of a game during the beta, then the issues might never be fixed. I just I had to get this because there's again you know these videos I'm just making right now of Call of Duty and Battlefield and all this shit. It's just like this anger I feel. Of people just I find, in my opinion, doing stupid, stupid stuff, complaining about complainers. Like if like I said, if people just don't force their opinion, then. How are they to not be heard? You know, if they don't say something, they cannot be heard. It's just in the end, what needs can sometimes be done. Like I said, though, it could be probably have their opinions voice better, you know, not so possibly insulting, which they could be, like I said, they could be, they could not be, I don't know. But if people don't enforce their opinions about issues in games during the betas, then those issues may never be fixed, people the race, or even at all. That's why we have such great now platforms to get these uh, issues stated out there, you know, with YouTube, Twitch, Net, oh, no, I was about to say Netflix, uh, Facebook, Twitter. I just say Twitter when I said Twitch. We got to say all kind of same Twitch and Net, uh, keep saying Netflix. <laughs> uh, YouTube, but uh, yeah, people should be able to force opinion, and of course, people should also have the right as it is to force their opinions about people forcing their opinions, you know. Everybody has the right, as long as it's not too, you know, damaging, you know. Uh, people doing death threats and, you know, hate speech and all that shit, you know, it's kind of, you know, don't do that. Don't. But in the end, I just, you know, I just felt annoyed about hearing people complain about people forcing their opinions on issues in the betas. But that's just me, you know. That's just me, that's my opinion. And I thank you for watching. I hope you're informed, I hope you're entertained, and I hope you have a rock'em, suck'em day. A peace.